once again more information for you to question in terms of why the major mainstream media in South Georgia never reported this information to the general public and who is the benefit who is the gain who is connected with those behind the curtain that wants and seek and continues to keep the people deaf dumb and blind to the times in terms of what's going on in their community. Listen, please. You made a phone call. There's no tracking that says that you made it or not, but it says it should be done in writing. And any time you're supposed to do it in writing, it should be a copy in the person file of what you mailed out to the individual and what dates you mailed out to them. The dates that know. If you call it an individual, you have nothing to show that you call them. And I would say they say you know it as a courtesy, but it's no paper trail for the phone call. So I don't know why that she's uh, allowing them to make these calls, which you can't get a person in quickly, but still, like I said, there's no paper trail for the call. Now this is the president of the NAACP, DeShazer. He is also on the Brooks County Board of Elections. He has stepped out from among the ranks of silence or silence and decided to tell the story to compliment the founding fathers of our republic who had a good idea for a nation, but it was by agitation and the sweat and blood of people on the street that made it possible for women to vote, blacks to vote, and for Latinos who come to this country to vote without having to go through what black African Americans went through just to get a right to cast a ballot and to have that ballot counted. But it seems as if though there's a continuation of what we thought we had resolved. Listen, please. Uh, I might have 10 call two, and that means eight people is not receiving an absentee ballot. I don't know what's going on. And then by the time it comes to the vote, they're not sure to go to the poll or wait for a ballot. But there, there are some things that need to be looked at, and Mr. Cunningham is correct. That office fully needs to be trained. As a board member, the only training we had as a board, we went to uh, Kansas State, and we was trained on how to uh, do the LAs and reports and machines and this and that. At GEOA, at BRAG, I mean, at BRAG, it wasn't a whole lot they called STEM. Just some of the things we to watch out for and what to do in the past. Honestly, how to form the board, how to bring the board to a meeting, or uh, what are we doing in the board, it, it has not been talked to us yet. I have not seen a regulation how the board actually should be run. Uh, I pretty much had to get on the county commissioners because you're trying to get me to do day-to-day -day operation. And if I'm down there and a problem arises that makes me as a board member part of that problem, how can I come in and be biased to the situation? A board member should come in neutral, not seeing what's going on. And, and what I'm saying on that is that you had a board member in the office working when the situation took place. And probably you, you, you're going to defend your office. Because when I came in to hear what was going on, it was that the individual voting was wrong. I worked with the public for years as a letter carrier. Yeah. Customers are always right. You just show them the documentation when they're wrong. Nothing to show you that customer, that voter, I say. What was she was wrong and what she was saying? Because everything she quoted uh, Mr. Collins on is pretty much that he, she was right. Once again, Mr. DeShazer is a Brooks County Board of Elections member, and he is stating that they have not been trained, that they don't know what to do, and for the most part, uh, they need somebody, the governor of the state of Georgia, the secretary of state, Brian P. Kemp, the Justice Department, 
or the FBI, but somebody to come in and to ensure that the people who are over the election process in Brooks County receive the necessary training. Now, I think this lays a clear groundwork for just maybe, just maybe, to highlight what caused the problems even with the Quitman 10 and their arrests by the DA, uh, David Miller, Brad Sheely, who's also the president of the Brooks County Board of Education, uh, who also, uh, through uh, Governor uh, Nathan Deal, Republican governor, uh, removed three of the representatives that the people, the people, not the Gestapo, but the people elected, the people elected to serve their needs and the needs of their children in this, these districts, but was removed without having their day in court by Governor Nathan Deal. Now, uh, uh, elected, the Board of Election member, DeShaza, is stating for the record, the Justice, I mean, the uh, Secretary of State got a copy of this video. The, the people here in Brooks County and Lowndes County and Thomas County and South Georgia knows absolutely nothing about this information, much like the people I discovered when me and myself and a local pastor walked the street when ordinary everyday citizens said they were intimidated by the GBI. And you will find that in my blog. But absolutely nothing for the most part was ever told to the general public outside of my blog, outside of my YouTube channel, and, and uh, John Quarterman and uh, Sister Lee Touchman and pres uh, President of the SCLC, Reverend Rose, and the local NAACP, the people know absolutely nothing because it's not reported. We need uh, more newspapers. We need more TV stations down here that are fair and balanced and are not hooked up on the, in the cosmos of political bickering and hatred uh, that is carried on apparently from the days of the past and it's time for a change. Let's continue listening to the station and then we're going to cut this off.